Well, Coach, a pretty good turnout up here for the scrimmage up in Naperville North. Give me your thoughts on how everything went today from, first of all, from the football aspect. Well, football-wise, uh, I'm glad to say the scrimmage went excellent. Um, you know, we, we, we got in real close to the 60 snaps. Again, it was somewhere between 58 and 62 once we count them up. That's what our goal was. Um, and, and again, as I say, we, play, we played a lot of football today because we've got a – you know, we've got an offensive coordinator and a defensive coordinator. Doug and Tom are calling this called this scrimmage live. You know, there, there's no nothing was scripted, and uh, so they're mixing it up, and uh, you know that makes your players think a lot. Um, every down and distance situation, um, they have to take everything into consideration, and uh, and that's how they're ba what they're basing their calls on. And uh, so a lot of football was played. It was once again, it was intense. It was hard hitting. And uh, so I, I'm sure the coaching staff overall, we're going to go away from this day very, very pleased football-wise. Any highlights that stuck out in your mind from the scrimmage today? Well, it was, it was good to see uh, uh, Matt Barr through the ball well. Um, Lito Senatus had the big catch for a touchdown uh, from Matt. And, uh, you know, Carlton Ray ran well. Lamar Hickman ran very well again for, for the second scrimmage in a row. Um, Defensively, you know, Terry Barney had the big play of the day with an interception in the end zone as our free safety. That was great to see. Um, you know, Michael Steering, I'm sure, had one or two sacks. I believe Victor Vasoki had a sack. You know, and Victor missed out last scrimmage, uh, but was back today full speed, so that was great to see. I think Kyle Glazer had his normal, you know, high number of tackles. Um, Justin Hamilton, again, coming back from the knee surgery, looked good at corner. So uh, Brandon Kretschmer had a couple of tackles for loss, which uh, I don't think, we, well, of course, we don't play a game or have a scrimmage when Brandon does not do that. And, and I know there's more, but those are the ones that, that, that stand out right away. How about from the off the field uh, aspect of this? You had a couple of former players, former coach coming to talk to the team beforehand. A lot of former Leathernecks in the crowd. Certainly got to be pleased to see the support up here. Oh, no question, Patrick. Uh, you know, there, there were a lot of players here that I hadn't seen for several, I had not seen for several years. Um, and a lot of good friends got back together again today. And, and in the locker room, it was, uh, I thought it was a, a special moment. You know, we, we had, uh, we had uh, Jason Williams, the highest draft pick in our school, uh, draft pick in school history, speak to the team, um, along with, uh, you know, a, a few other players and a coach who represented other generations. You know, and I thought that was very special. And, and Jared Nicholas had played for us and played in the NFL for a while. Um, and was on some championship teams early on in, in, in the 2000s. Um, and then, of course, uh, coach, head, head coach Brody Weston uh, spoke to the team. That was really, really special to, to hear Coach Weston, you know, address the team. And, uh, and then, of course, you know, uh, Mr. Mr. Charlie Carey spoke to the team, uh, a former Leatherneck, and, and, I, and I'll take out the former. We, we don't say that. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a leatherneck, all former leathernecks, and uh, they all just have great words for these guys to think about, about what it means to be a leatherneck, um, what it takes to be a leatherneck, what leathernecks represent, and uh, you know, that, that, that couldn't have gone better. That was a very special moment before the scrimmage.